Hi everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to my channel. In my last video, I made this brownie recipe from my cupcake addiction and they're so good, but I wanted to take it a step further and decorate them for Halloween. I'm going to a Halloween party tonight and I thought, why not bring this batch of brownies with um, some fun decorations? So what I'm going to do is follow another one of my cupcake addictions videos um, and make the glowing pumpkin patch. Um, decor on these brownies and so the first thing that I need to do is melt these orange candy melts and fill this tin with them and then um, pop them in the fridge or the freezer um, for a little bit so that they can reharden and I'll also be cutting out the holes for the pumpkins here in the brownies. While the pumpkin molds are in the freezer, I'm gonna make the buttercream frosting for the grass for this recipe. We're gonna need two sticks of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, five and a half cups of powdered sugar, and one to two tablespoons of whole milk. So I made the buttercream frosting. I'm gonna add some green dye to it so we can get that nice green color for the grass. So the frosting's nice and green. Now what I'm gonna do is put it in this piping bag. I have a grass, grass, I have a grass piping tip. And so I'm gonna cover the entire brownie that's all been cut out here with this buttercream frosting so it looks like grass. Um, not sure how long this is gonna take. This is a really small tip. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. The pumpkin molds actually took a lot quicker than I thought they would as well. So hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised with this. I think it's okay if there's brown showing through, right? No, this is a grassy pumpkin patch. But there's dirt in pumpkin patches. No, there's not. Yeah. Um, well, I'm pretty sure there's mostly dirt. What are you in the gardening club or something? <laughs> Apparently, when you squeeze the piping bag too hard, it explodes and it goes everywhere. <laughs> awesome. Okay, the grass is planted and has grown quite nicely. Um, the pumpkins have set. I now have a frying pan that's warming up so when I take the um, each pumpkin half out I can um, melt them down a little bit so that they can adhere together. So that is my next step. This is amazing. Oh my god it's so cute. Look at the little pumpkins. That was so cool, and these look so neat. I love them so much. Now that the pumpkins are assembled, I'm going to melt down some black candy melts and take a little um, toothpick and um, paint on a little jack-o'-lantern face on all of these pumpkins. And after I do that, I'm going to put a hole in um, one side of each of the pumpkins so that when I put the little tea light candles in, they'll have a place to go. So now what I'm going to do is take the tea light candles and put the pumpkins in them and then place them on the brownies. I like it so hard. <laughs> so the jack-o'-lanterns are on the candles. I put the candles in the brownies and I'm feeling a, a little concerned because the tea lights are taller than the brownies and the grass so they're really visible. What I think I'm going to do is make some more green buttercream 
and fill it in so it's less obvious that they're sitting that these pumpkins are sitting on battery operated tea lights because those aren't cute. Oh my god, okay, we're done. That was harder than I wanted it to be. This brownie decoration was so fun to make and I think these little jack-o'-lanterns look so cute. It took me quite a while to do all of the steps. Nothing was super, super hard with the exception of maybe the piping and I think that's just because I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to piping frosting or icing or whatever. And so I'm learning, <laughs> but I was successful-ish in all of, all of this. Overall, it took probably about three hours for me to do this. I had a little bit of help from a friend with some of the piping. And um, other than that, I think it looks really great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below. Thanks, bye.